What's up everybody? Today's video I'm hoping to be a little bit helpful as far as maybe a little bit entertaining but I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. You may have heard of it. Uh, I stayed at my brother's last night. I was doing some work down here for a while so I was like hey I'm gonna stay at your house. Got up you know kind of being lazy today and the first thing I wanted to do I was like you know what I need to go to Bass Pro. So I just got out of Bass Pro, spent, you know, just under $100, which is actually pretty good. Bought a few things that I didn't need. Um, you know, maybe I'll try them out later or show you a few things later on. But uh, my plan was, all right, I've gotten several questions from people um, in the Nashville area. People moved to Nashville a lot, you know, big city growing, a lot of people coming here. And they're like, hey, any good places to go fishing? And I've never fished, I don't think, in the Nashville city, like anywhere. I've been been to it hundreds of times played basketball all around nashville stuff like that but um never fished really here uh you know obviously so i want to find a creek or a, a stream or you know a place off the bank where i can fish where it seems like it's a good spot maybe i can share it with you and let me just show you my process so first thing i'm going to do uh obviously if you know if you've driven to nashville you've crossed a river so the cumberland river you know runs right through it i know that and it, it goes right around the bass pro here you know lots of people watching have probably been to this bass pro um, so obviously we got water around so first thing I'm gonna do is get on my phone just pull up the maps and just look at where I'm at and I'm right beside the river there's Old Hickory Lake that's right over there I see I see J Percy Priest Lake um, but I'm not looking for a lake I'm looking for a bank fishing access I really wanted to find a creek there's this creek that I remember hearing about or uh, let's see here I think it's a river Stones River um, it may be worth checking out. Uh, it looks smaller and um, it's still pretty close. There's a golf course. I see a little creek over there. So there's a few places that I, I might just, oh, there's another little creek. I might just pick a bridge and like start driving over a few places within like a 10 mile radius. Or I can also do this, go to the All Trails app and pull it up. And the All Trails app, I've talked about it before, but it just shows you trails in the area and wherever you're at you pull it up and it shows you the closest ones to you. So there's one Stones River Greenway of Nashville. That actually looks pretty good. Let me look at that. And it shows you pictures on it. So if you have the All Trails app, you can click on it and it'll show you pictures. Uh, the water looks pretty big, but it looks really cool though. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Oh wait, is there a dam on it okay so it comes up. oh there's a dam so people put pictures on here and it said i think it's harpeth priest dam that must be where the stone river comes out of because it's just a short river when it runs into the cumberland um at this section of it, i think there's another stones river coming from murfreesboro area uh definitely a lot of bank access there's a green there's a walkway that goes down it so there's a park right there it's right down the road let me look see if there's anything else around that looks interesting well, I don't see any right away on the All Trails app that are creek, like small creeks. I kind of want to find like a small creek, something I can wade in. I like to get in the wade. It's 95 degrees and it feels like 150 out there. Um, so I don't want to be standing on the bank in the sun, you know, casting where the water's really hot. And you find a creek where it's some cool, maybe cooler water. So I'm going to get back on my map. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to sit here for a few minutes, find, do a little work, mark a bridge. And go drive over it and if it looks good and i might do exploring maybe drive over a couple of them but within a 10 mile radius i'm gonna find a place and uh whenever i figure everyone out we'll get back on the camera well it's the first spot it was 3.5 miles from where i was it's a lot bigger than what i was hoping for but it looks like it starts to get smaller upstream so um this this definitely i mean it runs into the cumberland so it's starting to get deeper probably here i see some big old uh there's a bunch of big carp and stuff swimming around in there. This is probably a good fishing area, but the access is impossible right here, it looks like. I'm gonna try to find another spot upstream and check it out. Now this is what I'm talking about. Maybe a hair on the sketchy side. It's kind of in town, near business parks. But the creek through here looks really good. It's got a rock bottom. There's a little like uh, little ripples downstream, little shoals area. Um, there's a place to pull off and park right here. I think some people might be living under the bridge. I'm not sure, but that's fine. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna gear up and uh, I'm gonna get in here and start waiting. Oh, it feels good. 
All right. Since I don't know anything about this creek, and from what I'm seeing, it's it's decent size, but kind of shallow. I'm gonna go with my like all around fish catching setup, a medium light, got 10 pound braid. I got eight pound, uh, I think it's a mono leader. And I'm using a little three inch swim bait, something small, but can catch a lot of different fish. Water's pretty clear. And I'm gonna start working my way downstream and just see what we can pull out. This looks like a good place for definitely some good bass and uh, a lot of sunfish. Just, you don't know anything about it until you start fishing, start looking at spots. I'm probably, I'm probably standing in a good spot right now, but I'm just trying to get into it. Come on, got it. I'd say if there's a fish, it should be right there. Now, what kind of fish did we get is what I want to know. Hold on, let's see what it is. Hey, it is a smallmouth. Okay, first Nashville smallmouth. Let's see, we are nine minutes. I turned the camera on nine minutes when I first started, just slowly walking. I've gone 50 yards maybe. I've seen a lot of little, little fish. The creek's got a really good flow to it. The water flow is like actually really strong for uh, this creek, but it's really wide, rocky bottom. Just a place I found first time ever coming here. It took me 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes to get a smallmouth. Now this is kind of the fish I would expect out of here. You know, I don't, this, I mean, this creek could hold a big one because it does flow into the river, but this is a good little creek bass. Dude, that was awesome right where he should be. There's a little water current flowing in. I came around the side here, so I wouldn't go right through it. Cast it right into a little deep pocket where the shade is. He just ate it. And maybe another one in there. Sometimes these creek fish are real spread out. Just everyone's a little different than the time of the year is different. It's a real hot day. If they're gonna be anywhere, they're gonna be in the shade or in the current. All right, the water's, uh, it's already starting to get a lot bigger, or a little bit deeper, which should be good. As I'm approaching everywhere I go, I'm, all, I'm just scanning and looking for the best place to cast before I get there. Like this little shade, this little calm pocket over here on the side. Got a little calm pocket right there. Got some rocks over there. Got a little shade over there. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to work each area, casting and retrieving it kind of slow. And um, we'll work it, move on down, work it, move on down. Just kind of keep, keep moving around. Trying to find out where them fish are that are eating. It gets shady down that way. That looks good. That bank over there. Well, I have to say, I thought I'd catch a few more fish by now. The creek's starting to get deep. Looks like it could be a good, good kayaking creek. But uh, what I fished yesterday, and the same thing, the, the fish were, weren't, they really weren't up in the creek. They were way down. If, they, if it was close to the river, they were way down towards the river part and deeper holes. And uh, so I'm going to go back upstream and maybe see something up that way. Well, not what I was hoping for, but you know, I've, I've been here about an, about an hour and 10 minutes. So an hour after I caught that last, or that first fish, I've had a couple bites, some little, little sunfish, just a few. Haven't seen any bass. The creek, really good creek. I'm coming upstream, there's plenty of water in it. We make another lure change and at least make it to, I think that's the interstate or a big highway. We'll fish under that bridge. If I ain't got nothing by then, then we'll just have to mark this one up as either a come back to later spot or maybe just doesn't, doesn't have fish right now. That's a fish. That's a fish. Yes! The lure change definitely did it. Switched to the Helgramite and I let it drift. 
get it into that current and drift a little more. Just switched and um, boom, getting that little deep current over there, drifted in there and we're on a fish. Good little creek bass. So yeah, so that, that change up definitely worked and worked quick, but we'll see uh, as it, if it keeps on going. Okay, I'm happy with that guy. Let's see if we can get a few more. Oh, wow. A little extra jump for us. Oh yeah, here we go. Nice. Up there. Oh, another little small mouth up in the current. Right in the shade. There's one. Oh, little small mouth. There's definitely some little small mouth in here. Just drifting it, casting it up, drifting it back down to me. That's the second one that's hit and come off. Hour and 45 minutes in, the Helgramite is definitely the go-to lure for getting those small mouth out of here. I caught one and lost two in uh, like 20 minutes. But I'm at the bridge and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change to a bitsy minnow to see if I can catch any of the other uh, species of fish that are smaller, just to see what else is in here. There he is. That may be the one I just missed. All right, well, they got me a little smallmouth. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I was hoping to get some little sunfish, but you know what? I really haven't seen a lot of sunfish in this creek. It's been kind of, it's been a little odd, but this 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 water flow and this, you know, how much water's in this creek and the way it is, it's gotta have, it's gotta have, it looks like it should have good life and everything in there. And it could hold some, I feel like it could hold some good fish. There we go, finally hooked something. I'm getting hits like crazy on this thing. What is it? Shiners. I've seen some small long ear sunfish pecking at it too. I haven't seen a lot of bigger, definitely haven't seen a lot of bigger sunfish, but I'm getting a lot of pecks, but yeah, it's probably a lot of shiners and little sunfish. Well, I went ahead and drove over here to the Stones River Greenway just to kind of check it out. The river's a slow flowing river um, looks pretty deep though, and I, I just walked down the little sidewalk trail and I found the spot where people stop and fish with night crawlers and stuff. There's the lids for it. Looks like a great spot for bank fishing. I, there's a bunch of bluegill down here. I lost the lure on my first cast. Uh, it's got hung on my brush. But uh, hopefully this video helps somebody out. Obviously this isn't a video where I just go out and like wear out some fish. I had nothing. I had no idea where where to fish. I found it all just today. Everything I did was like, let me let me find this place. Let me stop there. Let me try it. Let me look at it. I'm looking on maps, just kind of tra tracking things, finding bridges to get in at, uh, finding access points. Fished a couple of, two and a half hours, two, two and a half hours at the, in the creek, changing up lures, trying to figure out a few things. You know, caught a handful of smallmouth, which was cool to find smallmouth in there. Um, that's definitely a place if I was around, I would definitely go back to that place. And then I found this place here, and it's a good place where if y'all just want to come and set up on the bank in the shade. Both those places, was be the best thing was there in the shade and stayed a little cooler. So there, there's there's places everywhere. Um, obviously, like whole t all Tennessee's got like lakes, and if there's lakes, that means there's dams, and there's rivers and running water, and there's creeks flowing into them. And those creeks that are connected to those uh, big rivers are usually going to have smallmouth or you know bass or a good supply of fish in them. So it definitely takes some work and takes some effort to keep you know keep working and trying to find places. I know a lot of people don't have as much time. So, um, but hopefully this helps out. This you can find places you can stop and fish places and just try things out. Um, I do know people that fish in Nashville and catch, you know, catch some good fish. Maybe next time I'll hit them up and try to, you know, ask their spots. But today I wanted to do it all myself. First time ever fishing in Nashville and I caught some fish.